we consider that the private sector overall is in, in, in need of a revamp as, re, as regards the question of uh, pensions. Uh, there are very few people who have occupational pensions. A lot of people invested heavily before uh, in pen on the question of pensions and then the crash came. So what was supposed to have given you 150,000 turned to be about 40 or 50. So there, there are people who are suffering. There are people who haven't got enough income. If you haven't paid your, your stamps or your full stamps, you don't even get your pension. And we think that overall, between one thing and the other, to expect a couple to live with a thousand pounds per month, pay all your expenses and have a decent living, we don't have a decent living. It's not adequate, you know. It's not adequate. It's not all. It's got to change. And we're hoping that government will listen and change. Up to now, we haven't been that lucky. So you talk about hardship for a number of elderly people. Um, Heading this association, have you come into contact with many of these stories? Can you quantify well, that? Yes, yes. There are people, there are people who, who are living badly. There are single people uh, uh, for unknown reasons. Uh, their stamps were, had not been paid in by their previous employer. And there are people who are living on, 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 on very little. It's a subsistence uh, system. You know, and I don't think that in a country or, 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 well, let's call it a country, like Gibraltar, which prides itself as being the third biggest income in the world, people who have worked all their lives and contributed for 42 years have to live on pittance. Because a thousand pounds today, if you know it as well as I do, doesn't go a long way. This is something which has um, gone from one administration to the other. You've been fighting this for 12 years. A few have made you promises. You call them empty promises. Yes. Um, there was a, a commitment from the present Chief Minister, Mr. Picardo, to this association, to, this, to, to our committee. Eh? I am one of the committee. To our committee. And promises were made. Promises which have not been forthcoming. This is why we have this ongoing battle and we're going to go. Uh, we are going to continue because this has to be put right. So in terms of detail, what is it you're asking for? You're asking for different raises, for different uh, brackets? Well, we are basically asking for, for additional social assistance, really. We're, no, we, we understand that pensions is an issue which is rather limited. We are asking for additional social assistance for the people who need it. And the government made an offer, which in the leaflet is explained why we, we have not been able, because we, we find it, uh, it's not adequate, it's not fair, uh, and, and thus why we are continuing with, with our thrust and uh, putting it up to the membership, and then what the membership says, we will do.